Can you tell me which one of these points is closest to two fifths? Have a think about it and find out if you're right after the intro. Hi, my name's Tom Moore and it's important that we develop in our students an ability to break up a hole into even sized pieces, also known as partitioning. And in this video, we are going to show you how to do exactly this. All right, it's time for the grand reveal. Did you manage to get it? In fact, most people actually go a little bit under and they actually underestimate what two fifths is. We're going to explore how to do just this in this video. Now we all know how to make things like halves and quarters and eights by simply folding in half over and over again. But what about when we're working with thirds or fifths or six? Well, let's explore how to do that now. And remember, Mass Pathway has developed a lesson plan which you'll find in the description. Let's now have a look at how to partition into thirds. Now we know that halves are really easy, so why don't we use that as a starting point for when finding thirds? So we'll grab a pen and we're going to try and find roughly where one half is. And we, I would say it's probably about there. Now, if I'm going to use that, I'll say that a third is a bit less than one half. So if I come down to roughly there and place a dot. Now all I need to do is not worry about that section because I've already used that. But I simply need to find halfway between what I've got here and the end of the paper. And I reckon it's around about there. And if I come down, Now, it's not exact, but you can see here, it really gives students a much clearer way of how to find thirds. Let's now have a look at fifths. Once again, we know that students are probably going to be able to find quarters pretty easily. So let's use that when finding fifths. If I know that a half is here, then a quarter will roughly be here. And of course, one fifth will be a little bit less than that. So I'm going to use this mark here to represent one fifth. I've now thought about one of my pieces, so the rest becomes quite easy because I cover that up and I simply go, well, how can I break this into quarters? Well, that's simply half and then half again on each side. And I simply draw my lines down like that. Like I said before, it's not perfect, but it really does help students to roughly see how to break things up into fifths. Now you can use these strategies to go through and teach students how to find things like ninths, tenths and sevenths. For example, we know with ninths it's just going to be thirding and then thirding again. Whereas for sevenths, well that's going to be like an eighth, but a little bit more. And we know that students know how to find eighths by simply folding half over and over again or breaking something down into halves. Now as you can see, by using stuff that students already know, we can actually teach these more challenging concepts. And it's these skills that are going to help us when actually developing students the ability to go through and add and subtract and also multiply and divide fractions as well. And this same skill can be used when teaching fractions and decimals too. Don't forget to check out the lesson plan which is within the description. Also, like, comment and subscribe. My name's Tom Moore, we'll see you next time.